fetching the files from the SharePoint folder. It's so common. Many times you need to fetch the files from the SharePoint folder inside your cloud flows so that you can use its property for your work, for your auto, any type of automation. But whenever the file is present inside the subfolder, means the file is not directly present inside your document library. At that time, I find that newcomers are struggling. So one of my visitors has requested me to create the video on that. So in this video, I'll try to explain how we can fetch the file that is present inside my subfolder and inside sub to subfolder. Okay. So hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classy Power App. So without wasting your time, I'm just navigating it to my Power Platform screen. Okay. So here uh, I have created one folder. In the SharePoint, I, right now in, in one of my SharePoint site, I have one document library whose name is All Uploaded File Input Documents. And inside that document library, I have some files. Okay. So these files is easy to fetch. So let me just show you how do we fetch the files inside our, our automated cloud flows. So let me try to open the flows from here. and better to restart with the new flow instant flow and fetch fetch file okay i'm just making it uh, as a type of a uh, button trigger okay just for the simplicity you can use any other any other based on your requirement so in order to fetch the files we have the that connection available is the get files if I go with the get files, I have this get files property only because once I get the properties, I will get the ID of that particular file. And once I get the ID and the URL, I can fetch its its data, its content as well. Okay. So first thing is we need to first fetch the file. So let me just add my production. Okay. And later, if I just try to hover this, Try to expand this drop down this library name i can see so many libraries are here but if i come to my sharepoint i can see inside my library i have three files and inside my three files i have one subfolder inside that subfolder i have one more folder and inside the that folder i have the file okay it's my one of my app that i, I have downloaded from of my power app okay and i need to fetch this file so how I will go, I'll select first my document library. Okay, so my document library name is all uploaded document, this one, whatever. And later we have one property as a limit entries to folder. So this is actually the place where we can set the folder, like some folder name from where we would like to fetch the files. So here, if I come to this side, I need to I need to just get the name of this my subfolder control V and right now if I try to play this application for now inside this folder I have one subfolder okay let me just try what it give me right the results save it okay and then test it it's loading and continue and run and done so that flow has run successfully I, if i try to expand that output to get download i download the output i got so many stuff here okay so how to understand what is that stuff is like i need to search for the file name control f file name file name okay yes so it has given me only maybe only one file file name with extension okay i have this and later friend okay the thing is how it has given me two different nested one remember this is my subfolder name 
inside this folder i have one more folder this is nested one and inside the nested one inside the nested one folder i have one file this file is here okay it means this has given me the file also the subfolder as well the file is present in this folder so if i like to reach directly to this place i can use this name as well into my flow you can make this disable from here okay if you don't want the subfolder things because sometimes when it lists you the some folders it become too confusing so just write it here nested one now if i try to run this flow test it and then run the flow done okay now if i try to expand that i can see Control F file name with extension. So I can see only one file name is extension is there, which is this. It means it has given only one file because that file is present. This as here it is no file, only folder is there. So what I can do in order to restrict, I can remove that one. Okay, and uh, nested as no, and then try to set just to check what it give me the results okay it has run now expand now try to open now see it has just given me the one file uh, where is that control F yes it has given me only the folder if what is there in that inside that folder there is no no record of that so that's how we can limit the, the subfolder stuff and if we pass the subfolder path inside the, at this position it will give the file that is present inside my subfolder okay so thank you everyone thanks for watching this video i although it's a short video but uh, this was requested one of my visitors so i'm just creating this video okay so thank you everyone thank you have a nice day bye bye